जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण आपे मा ओबेसेंसेस टू माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर श्री मद जगत गुरु सदाशिवम आचार्य जी महाराज आपे मा ओबेसेंसेस टू लॉर्ड श्री रामानुज आपे मा ओबेसेंसेस टू मदर लक्ष्मी आपे मा ओबेसेंसेस टू लॉर्ड श्री मन्नारायण I pay my obeisances to the Purva Acharyas, and I pay my obeisances to the twelve Alvars of the Sri Ramanu Sampradaya. I welcome all of you here at the Thursday Satsang, physically at the Sri Narayan Dham in Durban, South Africa. I welcome those that watching this discourse on live feed. locally nationally and internationally and i welcome those that going to be watching this discourse when it is posted in the various groups from around the world our topic continues on the three gunas and as the devotees find confusion in these various groups that we are affiliated to then together with the main topic it becomes necessary to sift out the confusion and explain with simple analogies these analogies may not be 100% synchronized however they will give the material mind some inkling towards spirituality remember currently the mind is stuck in the mode of ignorance the mind is stuck in the mode of ignorance or nescience and even if we take an hammer and bang the head it won't make a difference isn't it jammed in gear mind is jammed in gear All right. In what gear, Sayuri? In what gear is the mind stuck? Reverse gear. Mind, material mind is stuck in reverse gear. All right. So to take this mind out of reverse gear. we cannot bang it out of reverse gear all the other gears will break so we have to find a way to ease the mind out of reverse gear and put it in forward gears forward gears okay and uh, i don't know what type of gear boxes you like please wear what type of gear box you like the big truck mixed and change gear you like that one 16 speed okay lizwe likes 16 speed gear box all right uh, strini likes a fuller fuller box fuller box is same 16 speed okay all right so so in order to move the gear lever in your mind from reverse we have to ease it out and put it in neutral without breaking any synchros we have a mechanic at the satsang okay and he was a heavy duty mechanic in the military the south african navy okay so 
So I'm going to run this, this course together with him. So the synchros are the subtle parts of the gearbox where one gear meshes into the next gear and meshes into the next gear and meshes into the next gear. The gears itself are the gross gears that drive the vehicle in a particular ratio. Okay? Now, we need to come from when you stuck in reverse it means you are in ignorance. What you are in ignorance of? What is negated? Sayuri, what is negated if you stuck in reverse? Which direction is negated? If you stuck in reverse, which direction is negated, Dana? Forward. Forward. If you stuck in reverse, forward is negated, isn't? And that stuck in reverse in Sanatan Dharma is called ignorance. Ignorance of forward movement. Forward movement of what? Initially, David, mind, I said the mind is like the gearbox, like the gear lever stuck in reverse. So we need forward movement of the mind forward movement of the mind. The mind must take you to where? Why was the mind created? Where must the mind take you? Must take you to yourself first. Sita, if a person in hospital is suffering from amnesia, if you take this person out from hospital who is suffering from amnesia and say, go to your father, can that person go to the father? Why? So how can you say, Sita, that the mind must take you to God? Sita, your mind must take you to your soul. Your soul must take you itself to God. Mind must take the body and the senses in realizing the soul. The soul, when it is found, will lead you to God. Taking you out of amnesia. The mind is here to take you out of amnesia. Sita, I don't know how many gods you'll go to. Sita, that is your dilemma, all right? Coming back, coming back, going forward, going forward, every mechanic uses specs. Every mechanic uses specs. So if you want your gears, to be synchronized going forward, then the specs must be right. 
all the bolts have to be tightened with a specific spec and the instrument to tighten that spec is called the torque wrench. That's why gurus talk. Gurus talk. All right. But this is not that talk. That is T O R Q U E. All right. It is the power. Talk, wrench. Sometimes the guru like to dana, put his elbows around your neck and talk. Wrench. You understand? Sometimes the guru loves to do it. Okay? Especially with the devotees in this satsang. Dana, you agree? Yes, sir. Okay, Dana agrees. So, using a torque wrench, Janita, are you transcribing? Using a torque wrench, you get your specific torque on each bolt and nut so that the gear linkage and the gear box is synchro nice. Similarly, there's a manual wood specs. There's a manual wood specs to move your mind. To move your mind Firstly, to remove it from being stuck in reverse and then to move your mind in a forward motion until it reaches its top end. Mechanic language, top, top end. Are you understanding? So the manual for the mind is the Bhagavad the manual to take your mind which is stuck in reverse and change the gears in a synchronized way up until the time you reach top gear is the Bhagavad Gita in 700 verses. That is the easy manual. If you want to know how the gearbox was invented, how it was created, then you have to go to the library. You have to go to the library. Sanatan Dharma is not a book. Like the Abrahamic religions, one book is a religion. Sanatan Dharma is not a religion. It is the library. It is the... What is contained in the library? Nadira, what is in the library? What type of books? Every book conceivable is found in the library. Every book conceivable is found in the library. Arts, culture, science, geography, history, thrillers, suspense, every type of book is found in the library. Sanatan Dharma is the library. Sanatan Dharma is the library. Religion is a book of instruction. Do this or this will happen to you. 
Sanatan Dharma does not say, do this or this will happen to you. Sanatan Dharma says, do this to go there. If you don't do this, you'll go there. It doesn't matter what you do. The choice is yours. Sanatan Dharma don't have a gun to your head and tell you what to do. Sanatan Dharma tells you everything, the entire library is Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan Dharma, in Sanatan Dharma you'll find atheism. What is atheism? What is atheism? Those who do not believe in God, you'll find trans theism. What is trans theism? Neither believe in God or believe in God. That's called trans theism. Then there's monotheism. What is monotheism, Sita? Sita, what is monotheism? Monotheism is because you're looking in your phone. No, I'm not making it. Yes, because. What, what's halfway? Yes, so listen to the Guru, you don't have to type. What is monotheism? Believing in one God. What is polytheism? Believing in many gods. And atheism is believing in no God. In the library of Sanatan Dharma, you will find all this information. And this is why we say Sanatan Dharma is the library. Do you understand? What has all of this got to do with the three gunas? What has all this got to do with the three points? Yeah. Sita, is qualifying for a degree. Right. So Sita is saying that Sanatan Dharma has an entire library, and this is how, if you stuck in reverse. You can go to the library and find a book on how to come out of being stuck in reverse. And being stuck in reverse is in the mode of ignorance or tamas. And if you are in the mode of ignorance, Nadira, I don't know what gear you're stuck in. Forward gear. Okay, Nadira is in forward gear. After a birthday, the gear lever just came. Forward. When was the birthday, Nadira? 
Yes, it is. Okay, after yesterday. True, Nadira? No, long time ago, Nadira is in forward here, okay? So anyway, we'll wish you a happy birthday for yesterday. We had an excuse now for Nadira to come and cook again. Nadira has been cooking for a long time in our satsang, even if she could not attend the satsang, but she should make sure she come and cook her, she do her seva. And not cooking for 10 people, how many people we were cooking for Nadira? Ah, in the hundreds, right? in the hundreds. And we were wealthy that time, Nadira, what we should cook? Pani, uh, variety, right? Yeah, now we just give you sugar beans, then. Eh? Rice. Rice. Eh? And we should have basmati rice as well. Coming back. Sanatan Dharma has the library. If you want to come out of the mode of ignorance, you go into Sanatan Dharma and you retrieve that information. Then if you got 16 forward gearbox, the first eight gears will be in Rajogun, don't you think? And the second eight gears will be in Satogun. So if you, and, and, and this is very interesting, Srini. Uh, because a 16 forward only has 8 gears. And then you have to split it and get your next 8 again. Right, Srini? So, if you are in Rajogun, okay, then you'll go to gear number 8 and get You go to gear number eight and get stuck. Then you have to go to the library of Sanatan Dharma again and learn how to split the gear and go to 16 forward. Then you are in Satagun. Then you are in Satagun. And once you're in Satagun, don't get too happy with the knowledge that you know how to drive a 16 forward split truck. Because as soon as you get attached to that knowledge, the splitter will release itself and you'll go back to your 8 speed. You go back to your eight speed. How many of you understood all that I have stated? And how many of you didn't understand? I wanted to have a very, very light satsang today because myself, Chris, we planted over how many palm trees, Chris? Over 50? 46. 46. Okay. We planted 46 palm trees today and the Guru is tired, right? The body of the Guru is tired. You understood so far? Then, if you need any more information, You go back to the library. If you want to know now that there are three phases in the gearbox, there's three phases in my mind. Who is in charge of each phase? Who is in charge of each phase? And you'll open the book and you'll find out that Lord Vishnu is in charge of 
is Lord Vishnu in charge of Satya? Sita? Is he in charge of Satgum? Show me how he is in charge of Satgum. Type Satgum there. Who is in charge of Satgum? You are busy typing on your phone. Amita, who is in charge of Satgum? Who's, who's in charge of Rajogun? Who's in charge of Tamogun? Lord? Is Tamogun positive or negative? Is Rajogun positive or negative? Is Satugun positive or negative? Is Satugun positive or neutral? is maintenance, maintaining this universe, positive or negative or neutral? Is well. Don't make your eyes like you're thinking. Yamita, <laughs> is God biased, unbiased, neutral? What is the position of God all the time? Does God favor his devotee and disfavor his non-devotees? When God is maintaining this universe, is He giving air equally to the demons, to the asuras, and to the devotees? Is He giving rain and water equally to everyone? Is He distributing the sunlight equally to everyone? So I'm rattling some cages here, all right? All over. So, will Lord Vishnu as a maintainer be positive, be negative, or be neutral? God will be neutral. God will always be Neutral. God will give the same to everyone. You, Amita, create positivity and negativity for yourself. Who? Oh, the individual soul creates its own karma and it receives as per its own karma, but God's distribution is God's distribution is 
What is your father doing at the funeral? Is he reading the Garuk Puran? Rishi? Is reading the Garuk Puran at the funeral? I'm going to give you all the Garuk Puran. Make sure he reads it there in the house. Alright? Tell him Guru. Tell him Adit the Garuk. Alright? That's what Rishi is. Do. Don't you think? Let's understand the three gunas again. Lord Vishnu, Lord Vishnu is the maintainer and in order to maintain, he has to maintain equally. He has to maintain equally so he will be the neutral charge of energy. Won't he? Won't he? Lord Brahma has to create. Lord Brahma has to create. In order to create something, what type of energy you need? What type of energy you need to create something? Positive or negative? Positive. Then what type of energy you need to destroy what is created? Rajogun is positive charge, Tamogun is negative charge, and Satgun is neutral. Let's see, let's test it. When you have a problem, Sita, if the Guru whacks you when you are in Satguru, what will happen to your mind? Namita, you two on the other end. If the Guru whacks you whilst you are in Satguru, When you are in Satgun, your mind must be in equanimity. When you are in Satgun, your mind must be in equal. What is the meaning of equanimity? Yamita, answer the Guru. You're not holding the camera today. What is the meaning of equanimity? Level. When the mind is level, then when the Guru whacks you, you do not take any offense. When your mind when the Guru whacks you, when you insult the gun, your mind is in equanimity. You say thank you Guru. And when the Guru praises you, when you insult the gun, you say 
to accept the good and the bad equally. Now you understand why Satyagun is neutral. Because if I whack you when you are in Tamogun, then what will happen? Sorry, Rajogun. You'll get angry, you will get angry. Adira, what will happen to you? Yes, hey, the Guru. The Guru will whack me. Guru, whack me. So your energies will increase. Energies will increase. Energy increasing is positive or negative? Positive. Anything that increases is positive. Alright? But then you'll get so angry, Nadira, you'll get very, very, very angry, and out of anger arises delusion. Out of anger arises Delusion. What type of energy is delusion? Negative energy because it takes away your true sight and it puts it in a dimension in which that which is true becomes untrue. That which is true becomes untrue and it saps your energy. Alright? But look when you're angry. When you're angry, when you're in Rajogun, when you're angry, this, when you're angry, very angry, then your, you can, your anger can come from your mouth. Nadira, anger can come from your mouth. Temperature will rise. Temperature, rise. Rising of temperature is positive or negative? Positive. Rising of temperature is positive. Then the mouth will say something flowery. Nadira, you know any flowery language? No. <laughs> Starting with the letter F? No. Okay. Nadira only use the letter F for flowers. Alright? So, when you get angry, the blood rush up, energy is positive, the mouth opens and says a whole lot of things. Then, sometimes you don't use your mouth. After using your mouth, you will use your hand. And got power, energy is positive or negative? Positive, using power. After a few punches, Lizwe, Lizwe has enjoyed this. This is Lizwe's best discourse. His best discourse. Lizwe, if you punching not enough, what you do? Use leg. Kick. See how much energy and power? Emita, don't worry, long discourse, you're going to really write all night. Alright? Can you see? Energy. Then later, that anger, that energy is now converted to delusion. Converted to delusion. And all that was going up has now changed from the truth and now you are sitting depressed. Anger is gone. You caused the damage and now you are thinking and you are thinking all opposite things. And when you think opposite things, what happens to the energy? 
it's going downwards. If you're not thinking the truth, what happens to the energy? It's going downwards. When you are in absolute truth, the energy is neutral. It is neutral in absolute truth. All of you understand? Oh yeah? You understood all this? As an angry young boy, Boya. All of you understand how the three gunas, how the three gunas teach you how to come out of reverse gear. Reverse gear is in Tamogun. Then you come into your first eight gears called Rajogun. Then when it's stuck in eight, then you press the splitter and then you in Satgun. All of you understand? And for all of this you need to go to the library of Sanatan Dharma and you have to find a motor mechanic. And that motor mechanic is called the Guru. The motor mechanic of your mind is called the Guru. Otherwise the mind will be stuck in the verse. I just want to conclude with the verse from the Bhagavad Gita. Who knows what was the last verse? Who knows what was the last verse of chapter 14? Chris, what was the last verse? You know what number? Okay, we verse 9. We are at verse 9 now. Alright. Chapter 14, Sri Ramanuj Gita Bhasya, verse 9. Sattva generates attachment to pleasure. Rajas to action, O Arjuna, but tamas, veiling knowledge, generates attachment to negligence. Verse 10, prevailing over rajas and tamas, sattva preponderates, O Arjuna, prevailing over tamas and sattva, Rajas preponderates and prevailing over Rajas and Sattva, Tamas preponderates. You can only select one gear at a time. You're stuck in reverse, you can't be in number one and reverse together. Isn't it? Then if you take it out of reverse, then when you go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you are in one mode of gears. You can't be in two gears at the same time. Can you? Just like that. Rajogun, when Rajogun is in gear, Satagun and Tamogun is off gear. You understand? One gear at a time. When you in one gear, the other two gunas are subdued. Nadira, you understand? You can't be in Satagun and Tamagun at the same time. It's opposite. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Narayana. Jai Shri